Hello, this is Mark from Two Dog RC. I've had some people ask me how to do this, and I guess I've never made this video. I'm going to show you how to flash your Diatone D Link V3 in this video. So, here I've got a Tyrant, and first thing I'm going to do is plug into the flight controller. There we go, let's plug in. Now you see up here, this changed to SLAB UART. If it didn't, that means you don't have one of two things. One, you don't have the drivers. If you need the drivers, they're right here. Download that, download that. Mac or Windows. Windows is a little finickier. Mac is better. Uh, also, if you have a power-only cable connected to your flight controller, that would be another reason that you wouldn't see that change. So this is what you want to see. Then you know it's, it's reading your board. So again, we're doing the iTone D-Link 3. Come over to your firmware flasher. We're going to go... SP rate, open this menu, you're looking for the SP Racing F3. Choose your firmware. Now if you've got the 302X ESCs, then you have to use this one. If you've got the 302XD, then you can, whichever one you want. I would probably use this one or this one. So if you have the 302X, you have to use this. If you have something bigger than 302, if you have the 302XD, then you can use this one. On this ship is an older one of the 302X. So I'm going to select that. Full chip erase, always select this. That means it wipes all configuration data on the board, just in case there's some bad stuff. This button here you only use if you're using the boot pins. So you only use this if you're following these directions. These directions would be if you've accidentally flashed it with the wrong board or something. So again, SP Racing 3, 302 XB controller. So I'm going to use this. Full chip erase. Load, I'm connected to the internet here, so load firmware online. There we go, it's loaded, and then flash firmware. Boom. This means it's working. You may also see some lights on your board flickering, those are the communication lights. So now we just kind of wait here until it's done. Okay, it's verifying. Do, 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 do. Almost done. All right, programming successful. So then, what I do is I unplug it so it powers down the flight controller. I always unplug from the computer when I'm doing stuff like this so I don't wear out that USB connector on the board. Unplug back in. Computer your welcome screen. Connect. And voila, you should see everything moving and you're good to go. If you want to know what version of uh, Betaflight you're running, it's, it's right here. Uh, there's two things you need to know. Well, well yeah, there's two things you need to know. What kind of firmware is on it and what version. So if you don't know, you can come over here to CLI, type version. And this says SP Racing F3, so that's the firmware. And it's on version 3.0.1. If you ever get a board you're not sure what to flash it with, you can just do plug in, do this. And I'll tell you what's on there. So that's how you do the D-Link V3. This is the board that came on the 2016 GT2 and the current Tyrant S boards. Thank you.